The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Ruth. Naomi had a kinsman on her husband's side, well-to-do and of Elimelech's clan. His name was Boaz. Ruth, the Moabitess, said to Naomi, Let me go into the fields and glean ears of corn in the footsteps of some man who will look on me with favor. She replied, Go, daughter. So she set out and went to glean in the fields behind the reapers. Chance led her to a plot of land belonging to Boaz of Elimelech's clan. Boaz said to Ruth, Listen to me, daughter. You must not go gleaning in any other field. You must not go away from here. Stay close to my workwomen. Keep your eyes on whatever part of the field they are reaping and follow behind. I have forbidden my men to molest you. And if you are thirsty, go to the pitchers and drink what the servants have drawn. Ruth fell on her face, prostrated herself and said, How have I attracted your favor for you to notice me who am only a foreigner? Boaz replied, I've been told all about the way you have behaved to your mother-in-law since your husband's death and how you left your own father and mother in the land where you were born to come to a people of whom you previously knew nothing. So Boaz took Ruth and she became his wife. And when they came together, Yahweh made her conceive and she bore a son. And the women said to Naomi, Blessed be Yahweh who has not left you today without anyone to redeem you. May his name be praised in Israel. The child will be a comfort to you and the prop of your old age. For he has been born to the daughter-in-law who loves you and is more to you than seven sons. And Naomi, taking the child, held him to her breast. And she it was who looked after him. And the women of the neighborhood gave him a name. A son, they said, has been born to Naomi. And they called him Obed. This was the father of Jesse, the father of David. And our response is taken from Psalm 128. How blessed are all who fear Yahweh, who walk in his ways. Your own labors will yield you a living. Happy and prosperous will you be. Your wife a fruitful vine in the inner places of your house. Your children round your table like shoots of an olive tree. Such are the blessings that fall on those who fear Yahweh. May Yahweh bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then addressing the crowds and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do and observe what they tell you, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on people's shoulders, but will they lift a finger to move them? Not they. Everything they do is done to attract attention, like wearing broader headbands and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honor at banquets and the front seats in the synagogues being greeted respectfully in the market squares and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master, and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father, and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who raises himself up will be humbled, and anyone who humbles himself will be raised up. The Gospel of the Lord.